Hi, I'm Mike Van Atten with Georgetown Mortgage IT Support, and this video is the first video in a series of videos relating to setting up your home office for Georgetown Mortgage. This includes setting up the monitors, docking station, keyboard and mouse, we'll even work on setting up helping you set up your, your phone, and we'll include the uh, printer setup as well as obviously your laptop installation. We try to cover as much as we can and um, we're always there if you need help. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Hi, I'm Mike Ben Atten. I'm Brad Painter. And we're here with the Georgetown Mortgage IT team and we're going to show you how to set up your home office. And this pile of stuff is what we're going to be working with today. Just want to uh, make sure that you're well prepared for whatever needs to be done. Okay, we are going to unbox all this stuff, and um, we'll see that there's a packing list that comes with this. Put my big knife down. There's a big packing list, and uh, this may have more or less on it, depending on what you might get. So we're just going to unpack everything. So we're unpacking the monitor. I get all this stuff out of the way. There's a couple things about the monitor that I'll come back to later. This is a docking station for the laptop. There's a special power supply that goes just for the parking station. It has a higher wattage. We'll make sure we use that. We'll go ahead and get the docking station set up first. It's kind of our base of everything. This is what you'll plug your laptop into. And it will connect your laptop to the monitor, monitors and keyboard mouse and all that good stuff so just, uh, this goes in here there's a little light here that will light up when it's connected so now we need to get the uh, mouse keyboard and if it doesn't fit you might have to, if it doesn't want to go in, you might flip it over, try it again. All right, now, so for the monitor, there's a piece of this that gets a little bit tricky. Flip that that direction. No, no. Oh, this, yeah. yeah. It's a little bit. Okay. So, there is uh, this piece here. You do not want to pull this ring on here because this arm will slide out. So the first thing you want to do is put the bottom on and then tighten the screw at the bottom. All right, so do not pull this until it's standing up. Standing up, now you can pull it. Now, otherwise, it'll push it out and you can get Go ahead and by slide it. the monitor up and down. Show them how the monitor works. You slide it down and you can turn it. And then you slide it up and down while it's turned. There you go, cool. Now you'll connect the cable with the white ends to the monitor. It's a D connector, so you'll want to match it to the one on the monitor, and they're both white. Then screw in both knobs to secure it so it doesn't fall out. Now take the other end and connect it to the docking station. Again, D connector and they're both white. Same kind of 
arrangement on both ends. This is what not to do. <laughs> you can break it if you want. Yeah. So here we have blue, blue, and blue. And you'll notice on the docking station, there's also blue. So that's your that's your key there. Blue cable. It's called VGA. This it's called VGA. That's exactly right. No, it's digital. So it's got a line the same kind of port up. other end is going to go over here. So power cord is going to plug in over here. And it's, you can't get it wrong. It has to go in a certain way. Make sure it's snug. And then, of course, this will go to the power strip. There's a USB hub mm -hmm. in these monitors. So, probably not a bad idea to hook them up. At least one of them. So plugging this in to here, it makes these work. So we'll plug that in and it's keyed. Plug it in and then this plugs into one of these ports. Now you can put these over here whatever you want to do, but we'll just leave them plugged in here for now. If I can get them back in, and we'll plug this over here, oh, wrong way, and finally, a microphone well, speaker cord, I don't think there's a microphone in this, but it's just for getting sound. Now, this here, so standard speaker port, and the other end will plug in. So, this is ready to go. Now there are some other options on the back here. There's old style keyboard and mouse. There's an old type of printer port. You have your network port, which we'll get to. Because we're, we're working here in a temporary environment. All right. So we might want to make sure that we have power to the monitors. So push the power buttons. They should light up. The network cord, depending on your office setup, you may or may not get one of these. If you ask for one, uh, we'll be happy to provide it. But the uh, network cable will go to your router. Now, this is a this is a Netgear router. Um, some folks are provided with this, depending on, on what what they might need. You may already have one; you don't need it. Okay, so this is something you might receive from your ISP. They'll have it all configured for you, so you won't have to necessarily do this. Uh, we might send you one, depending on your needs, and then it would already be pre-configured. And from your ISP, you're going to have something that goes like this, and this will go over to your 
Comcast modem, Time Warner, something like that. This end will plug into the modem. So then from the docking station to this, the cable that we send you would plug in, let's say, port 1, mm -hmm. which is here, or port 1 through 4. You could plug it into any one of them. If you have other devices, you could plug it in there. Of course, it has to have power. Point to that here. What that is going to be. So there's the power, mm -hmm. and then there's an on-off switch. Which you push in. Lights. The lights will come on. You gotta plug the other end. Plug the other end in, and it's gonna plug in right here. Okay, so when you receive your laptop, it'll be it'll come basically in this arrangement. Your battery will be separate. It'll be over here. Should be. Sometimes we ship it in the laptop. But this will be batteries separate. And then the, uh, the laptop. Of course, we have to take these out of their packages and work on them before we send them. So um, may or may not have a bag on it, just depending on what, what happens when we're working on them. So there'll be that. All right. So then the battery will go into the laptop. Push it in, and then slide this over. Well, it should slide over. There we go. A little bit difficult, but it should slide over. So sometimes the best thing to do is lay it flat, and then you can make sure that the battery is properly seated, push it all the way over. That usually works. If it jams, pull it all the way open, pull the battery out, put it back in, try it again, and then sometimes it's a little easier. So the laptop, this port here lines up with this port. So what we're basically we're trying to do is set this laptop down on the docking station to line up with that. Now, one thing that's an interesting to note is that there's a line here that helps you line it up. So now there's a gap here. There's one thing that you can do. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. On the front of the docking station, there's a little slide switch. It moves these in and out. You'll want that in the out position. That way, when you go to put your laptop on, it lines it up in the right place. You saw how a minute ago I was having trouble because I was putting it up here. Well, it doesn't go in that way. It doesn't line up. By pulling this switch, it allows, it forces me to put the laptop in the right place. Now when I push down, it locks into place. It should be connected. So now, we should start seeing everything light up and blue color here. The power's still off. So now we're going to turn on the laptop with the mute shut. Don't have to have it open. Notice the light comes on. After you turn on the computer, it should boot up like this. Once you get to this screen, you're good to go.